Hi everybody, this is Opland Spiritual, another reading. So this is going to be for all Geminis. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Oh, the sun's coming up. No, it's still cloudy, but I feel like the sun was coming out. So maybe something's still cloudy for you, but the sun will come out, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. This is for April 2024 for all Geminis. And I was going to say Aries, so maybe you have Aries placements or your cross watcher. Um, or Aries, we're in Aries season, right? Um, yeah, make sure you guys uh, give me a like if you really enjoy this. It really helps me out, helps me grow. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, so let's find out what's going on for you for April for Gemini. Let's see. Yeah, you're going to be at a crossroads right away. I'm seeing you at a crossroads and you're on like a road to like spiritual enlightenment here. Like traveled alone here. This is something where this is independent traveling alone. And there's something with like your back. You could be having back problems, back issues here. That was the first thing I want to say. You have a lot of things on the outside. So um, let me show you here first. So at the very, very end of the month, right? You're going to be spiraling. Very confused, out of control here. There's something where you're going to be dealing with two different friends here, I'm hearing. Two different friends. Th these people could be upset, spiraling out, out of control. But there's something where... Either you're going to be the peacemaker or someone's going to be the peacemaker between you and these two people. I'm seeing here the monkey big time here. And Aries, you're of the rat. 80. Yeah, 80. Could be you're of the rooster. Okay, so here we have something else here as well. Okay, we definitely have Year of the Dog here. You could have one of those, like, dachshunds, because that's what it looks like to me. The hot dog dogs. Okay, we have Year of the Goat here, and we have Capricorn. We have also, what does that say? 83. 83 here. So 83 is Year of the Pig. So that is you. And you're you're going on a journey alone here and this is like buddha so buddha's coming into focus with you an ascended master that you could be working with this month that's going to help enlighten you. you you're going on some kind of enlightenment here yeah you're definitely getting spiritual downloads here yeah and there's something with like a capricorn coming into focus and this is also unicorn energy here so use your intuition to make beneficial changes in your life There's something about you moving forward here. Yeah, this is a lot of traveling here. You're traveling a lot and you're signing a contract here. New contract. And I'm also seeing um, number three here connected to this money. Year of the pig is here. Pisces, year of the tiger, but three is connected to this money. So this could be happening in the next three weeks three days could be from when you see this or three months connected to this money this abundance here all right so here's your cup and here's the plate mm. okay wow so i'm seeing you in the beginning like you're you're very um i'm hearing forward here and you could be dealing with a sagittarius I look like um the arrow there. Mm. Yeah, you're very clear in the in the beginning of the month, I'll tell you that much. Year of the dog, Scorpio. Um yeah, nothing's really bothering you, I wanna say. And you have a uh, year of the rat here, year of the pig, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Okay, you have 331 here that could be like a house number or an area code like a phone number or something and there's something with the fish so abundance pisces here 
that's leading you towards success, towards success, towards success, if I could talk, sorry, Mercury retrograde, okay, you're getting a key to a new door here, new opportunity is happening for you, right in the beginning of the month, are you going to take it, I don't know, it's up to you, right, it could be connected to this letter J, but this is definitely a new opportunity, a new pathway opening up for you. It's very clear. There's no games with this. That could be a clue for you. This is something that's very clear. Yeah, I see you being really happy in the beginning of the month. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Something's coming back around. And I'm hearing something's haunting you. So something's definitely on your mind that keeps bothering you as well. But overall, I'm seeing you being like very clear, very happy, especially with this opportunity coming towards you. Yeah, and I'm hearing, sailing takes me away to where I'm going, let it be. Hmm. So maybe you're sailing somewhere or you're just like letting the universe just take you like where you're supposed to go, like you're you're letting go. And I feel like that's why you're not stressed because you're just letting go. You're surrendering here. Okay, and none of that lasts. Because <laughs> towards the middle of the month, it's going to be chaotic now. You got year of the monkey here, year of the rat, year of the dog, year of the dragon. Something about you getting like going to the to the doctors or something for your legs like you could be getting a massage or something's bothering you maybe your legs are swollen because i'm seeing someone sit down and like their feet are like in a pedicure bath thing so you could be focused on that like something with your legs here and i'm seeing an angel here that's connected to all these signs here So this could be you divinely guide this could be you divinely guiding these people or these signs like these people are looking up to you for advice. You're divinely guiding these people. Wow. So you could be very um important like public speaking, a community thing. Like this is a big community thing. Like people look forward to hearing from you. They look up to you like you're the leader of something. But for guidance here, there's a lot of angels in this cup. A lot of angels. So you are protected. You're being shown the way. But you're very clear. You know where you're going. It's just very hectic. Number nine. The ninth is significant. Year of the monkey. The ninth is going to be very important for you. Virgo energy about clearance, organizing things, maybe towards the middle of the month, you're going to be organizing, cleaning stuff out, getting rid of things that you don't need anymore. You know, you're going to be super hyper focused on clearing things out of your life. And I'm hearing for the better you. Super confident in here. You're very confident. I'm seeing a spirit guide talking to you through meditation here. So you're going to be alone meditating on something and you will get an answer. Year of the pig, letter W. Year of the goat, Leo. Ooh, and you have a wish coming true here with this wishbone. Towards the end of the month, a wish is coming true. That's nice. A wish will be granted to you. Oh, and this is from your angels. This is from, yeah, this is from them. So make sure you thank them because they're giving you your wish. They're granting you one of your wishes. Maybe this is part of your karma. Now it's being granted to you. I'm seeing you're of the horse. Cancer energy here. Maybe this is someone coming towards you in love. This could be an opportunity, a windfall here. And there's a tower moment here. Unexpected Taurus here. You also have cancer here. Luck is on your side towards the end of the month. Luck is on your side. There's a lot of um, compatibility between you and somebody else. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. 
This could be something sparking. Sagittarius is here. You're the pig. Some of you are trying to conceive. You're trying to have a child here, but it's not working. You're probably doing those like... I'm hearing chemotherapy. So some of you, maybe you're going through chemotherapy, but or it's just someone around you, but um, those that hormonal therapy thing. Something like that. Okay. The 18th is going to be significant for you. Someone wants to apologize to you. Or you want to apologize to somebody. And I'm seeing a dagger here. So this is someone that hurts you, left you out in the cold, or made you do something against your will. You're going to feel like you have to do something against your will this month. And I'm seeing this person that is um, that wants forgiveness. They're an air sign. So they could be like you or this is you. Feeling remorse, feeling regret from something here. Letter T, letter V. And Capricorn, year the rat is here. And I'm also seeing a Scorpio and there's a goldfish here. So it's definitely about luck, abundance, a windfall. And this is definitely um, more connected to your spiritual enlightenment. You're getting spiritual enlightenment now through something here. Th this is through something that's going on this month. Spirit, yeah, look at this, the hermit when I split the deck. Okay, so you could be on a spiritual journey, Gemini. Okay like that card flip look at this nine of coins in reverse yeah you're not single you won't be single four of swords but you feel like maybe you still need to heal maybe there's something with recovery here maybe you don't feel the best because you're still healing through things in your life okay you have the page of swords and the queen of swords so that's you maybe you feel like you still need to learn something or still need to heal through something here you feel like you're not ready. Maybe you're not ready for this, this person coming towards you, this relationship, the emperor here, this Aries energy. Maybe you feel like you're not ready for this, this job, this, this, uh, maybe you're going to become like a boss next level here. Maybe you feel like you're not ready, but spirit saying you're ready. You have the skills, you know, you know what to do. Some of you, there's someone watching you that wants to be in a relationship with you. And I see this person communicating to you. They want to tell you how they feel. This is also someone that could want to um, apologize to you. This could be your boss or your father. Wants to apologize. Yeah, this is someone in your family. This definitely could be like your father. Or like I said, some of you, you could be connecting to... Um, Someone that you're going to have a child with or, you, or your dream is to have a, a child here. And you could be getting good news about that. Maybe you're doing research on how to, you know, maybe uh, conceive or, you know, do the right things to get pregnant and stuff like that. You're doing your research. I feel like something, your connection to your ancestors are going to be significant. And I'm here and teaching you. Look at this. And the star came out. So your wish is definitely coming true. Year of the goat. Capricorn. Three of swords. After a time of feeling sad and disappointed. Something will definitely disappoint you this month. And it's going to be like lightning. Like it's going to hurt you. It's going to be devastating here. And it could have to do with this wish. So for some of you, this wish is not happening. It's not happening. Because either you were dealing with someone that was faulty, lying to you, and you don't trust this person anymore. Maybe you felt like this person was your dream come true and you're going to find out that this person was, you know, having an affair with you or, you know, just you're disappointed in this person. You could be seeing feathers, page of cups. There could be someone else coming into focus here that you're being wavered here. Some of you, this could be the past energy, right? Where you were hurt in the past and now you're the queen of swords right that you're not letting anybody in but there's someone that wants to um 
nurture you. They want to show you that they want to be with you. And maybe you're, you don't realize that this person is like someone that you've been manifesting. But maybe you feel like you're not ready because you're still hurt. Going through something here. I see you not being single though. You know, I see you going into a relationship here. Hold on. Hermes, I'm hearing. Hugo. Yeah, now I'm hearing that, like, stupid song that is, like, viral or something on TikTok, you know? Eh, I don't want you. And I didn't want you. Because I heard Hugo here, and that's that guy that dances to that song or something. I'm hearing, I'm not your bae. So maybe you're going to tell somebody, listen, I'm not your bae. <laughs> I don't want you. And... Wiener. So maybe you got like a dachshund or something. Yeah, there's something where you're healing through meditation and journaling. So keep a notebook next to you because you could be getting a lot of intuitive downloads. Your dreams could be very significant this month. Something where you're going to get news and invitation to something here. I'm hearing alpaca. Angie, Agnes. Rome. PT. So maybe you're going to um, physical therapy. Gumballs. The gumball machine. Yeah, something unexpected. It's going to be very happy for you. Like, you, you don't know what's going to... This is, like, unexpected. Like, a very pleasant surprise here. Weakness is a choice. 36. Always shine brightly. It's like a little fox here. So this could be, like, someone you're meeting. Like, a new friend. Or someone that's, like, a little sneaky around you. But I'm not getting negative energy from that. I'm getting, like, resourceful. So that could be you being very resourceful. You got some sharks around you. Maybe that's what it is. You're just keeping things to yourself. You got love here. Clear love. Pure love here. Ooh, you could be buying something luxurious. Luxury purchase. You could be dealing with a water sign here. Definitely a Scorpio here. Secrets are coming to light. You're being divinely guided and protected here. You could be getting... Um, Advice from a wise person here. They could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They could have water placements. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you definitely have the Ace of Cups here. A brand new beginning. That you're going to feel emotionally so happy and stable. I didn't get any um, tea leaves for you. So let me get that. You could be doing something like with the airport here. Something with like aviation. Okay, we have chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. Wow, there's like a lot of energy here. I keep wanting to drop this shit. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. I literally said that in the cup. Carrot, opportunity, or windfall here. So something's going to... Holy shit. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. I literally said that in your cup, the goldfish. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. That's it. <laughs> Forget it. That's it. Pay attention to your work because your work's changing. There's going to be an opportunity at work that's going to change everything. But anyways, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.